Hi, this is Paul Schwinghammer, president of Hallmark Homes. You know, one of the most important decisions anyone has to make when either building a new home or remodeling their existing home is what kind of heating and cooling system to install. There are many, many choices. Gas furnaces, whether they be natural or propane gas, and there's various types of electric furnaces as well. Straight electric resistance heat, air-to-air -air heat pumps, and of course, geothermal heat pumps. Today I'd like to talk to you about one specific type of heat pump system, and that is the conventional air-to-air -air heat pump. Heat pumps in certain weather conditions are extremely efficient. A heat pump works most effectively when the outdoor temperature is in the 30 to 50 degree Fahrenheit range. They are basically air conditioners that run in reverse to bring heat from outdoors into your home. Believe it or not, there is heat in cool and cold air. Heat pumps can extract this warmth and inject it into your home. They achieve this by doing the same thing air conditioners do, only in reverse. In hot weather, air conditioners using special refrigerant chemicals take heat from inside of your house and dispose of it outdoors. It stands to reason, then, that modified machines can do the exact opposite and pull heat from the outdoor air and pump it into your home. As the outdoor temperature drops, the heat loss of a home is greater and the heat pump needs to operate for longer periods of time to maintain a constant indoor temperature. Around 35 degrees Fahrenheit, many heat pumps reach what is called the balance point. At or near this temperature, the heat pump needs to run constantly to produce enough heat to maintain a comfortable indoor temperature. As the outdoor temperature continues to drop, the heat pump needs help from traditional electric resistance heat coils. These coils resemble the glowing wires inside your toaster and consume vast amounts of electricity as they burn to keep you warm. It is usually labeled as emergency or auxiliary heat on your thermostat. Now some heat pump systems are designed to switch automatically from heat pump mode to auxiliary mode when the heat pump cannot keep up. Yet other systems must be switched over manually at the thermostat. Without the benefit of the outside heat pump unit, the electric resistance coils must be used anytime heat is needed, utilizing much more energy and therefore higher electric bills. Manufacturers make heat pumps to operate at different levels of efficiency. The more heat a system can produce or remove from a given amount of electricity, the more efficient it is. A common measurement of this performance is the seasonal energy efficiency ratio, or SEER rating. SEER numbers can vary widely if you compare old heat pumps to new ones. A 20-year-old heat pump system often had a peak SEER rating of 6. The minimum SEER rating you can buy today is 13. The highest SEER heat pumps made presently are over 20. Any heat pump that has a SEER rating above 15 is very high efficient. Now the SEER numbers are a little misleading. They actually are a measurement of the efficiency of the heat pump when it is in the cooling or air conditioning mode only. If you live in a warm or hot climate like Arizona, it might make great sense to purchase a heat pump with a high SEER value. People who live in cool or cold climates may not get a payback for the extra money they will spend on a higher value SEER heat pump. What's more, those who have high electricity costs will save even more than those who have access to inexpensive electricity. For example, if your house needs a 3-ton heat pump system, which is about typical for a 2,000 to 2,500 square foot home, your average electric rate is, say, 7.5 cents per kilowatt hour, and you live in Indiana, you might only save $30 to $40 a year in cooling costs when you upgrade from a SEER 13 to a SEER 15 heat pump. And with the heat mode, your overall savings when you add the heat in for the entire year and the cooling might be around $175. Now a person who lives in, say, South Florida, who has the exact same system and utility costs, could possibly save $160 per year in just the cooling costs and an annual savings of over just, say, $200 by upgrading from a SEER 13 to 15. Your a local electric utility provider can help you estimate the exact savings for your area and your home. Since the useful life of most heat pumps is between 10 and 15 years, be sure to have regular maintenance checkups on your unit as the refrigerant levels may drop over time and need to be recharged. Icing over of an outdoor unit is usually an indication of a low refrigerant level. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions about air-to-air -air heat pumps. So when considering building your new home, 
or remodeling your existing home, keep in mind SEER factor compared to the energy savings you will have during both the heating and cooling modes.